lot of beauty, saturation, nice marks, and I covered it all up. And so it's in this really ugly stage, and uh, I actually love this place right now. Um, where is that? Because there's so many things that I can do. Um, it's kind of an endless, uh, endless possibilities in some ways. So when I come into the studio and I see a painting that's really, really not, not looking good, not exciting, um, I'm actually pretty excited myself. So it might be the reverse of what other people think, but um, I try really hard to get my paintings to get to look like this. Um, so it's it's shallow. Um, in terms of paint layers, there's only about two layers on here right now. I, I did some gouging into it, but what I want to do now is, um, I've had time to think about it, and again, what I'd like to ask myself is, well, what does this painting not have? It started with saturation, and then it went gray. So now it's kind of like blah, and I also put a glaze over it, so that even made it more, more um, desaturated. All these areas here used to have some pretty high saturation, but once they were grayed, uh, once they were, um, sorry, glazed, they became desaturated. So now the entire painting lacks any um, bright colors. So I, I really enjoy working with Garnet pigment sticks. They're totally compatible with your cold wax and oil medium. Um, they are pricey, but um, there are two things that I think I'd like to do with those sticks right now is add saturation and at the same time, I want to kind of apply them thickly because that's going to set up all this great texture when I cover them up. So I know that I'm not going to leave those pigment sticks. Um, that will not be the final layer. But due to their consistency, sometimes like when you, if you don't take the skins off of these pigment sticks, then you're going to get a little bit of that left on the surface. And by the time all this gets covered up, it's just going to add to the textural complexity and the surface of complexity, and that's what I'm kind of after. So the this is part of a series. This is one painting, the diptych that I'm working on that's black and white is another part of the series. There's a total of um, about eight panels right now that I'm working on simultaneously. So if I post a video and then there's a long delay before you see the next stage of that particular painting, it's because I'm trying to work on all of these at the same time. I'm trying not to get obsessed over one because then it becomes too precious and too special, and then you lack the ability to just play. Um, I will just say that um, by having several things going, you know, 10, 15, 20 things going, um, it just allows you to take a lot more risk. And I'm, I'm convinced that as you work in a series like this, one painting performs the next painting is the next painting, and, and when you have paintings in a group, um, one may be laying behind, and then that one will speak to you because you feel like, well, I have to do something, and then you're more willing to take a risk because the painting on the other side of the studio, maybe you did take a risk with that, and then look at the one that's kind of not, not up to par, and you're willing to do just about anything to get it there. So, um, you have a lot of comparisons. Um, to work with, and, and I think in the end, just that feeling of it's not precious and you're willing to let go um, becomes much easier. So I've prepared these R and F demon sticks. Um, they tend to have a skin on them. You have to get that off um, if you don't if you don't like the skin. So I sometimes I'll use a razor blade. Use sandpaper or just a blue paper towel to kind of get that skin off. So then you have what you reveal is the softer pigment underneath. And um, I'm just going to start applying these. So I, I prepared these before filming because it takes a bit of time to get these all ready. 